bit of sunlight in five months. What's going on guys? We are here with the infamous Adam, who eludes us so well. Yeah. So uh, Adam, what do you got to explain to the fans about where you've been and why your one day build has just stopped? Oh, you know. <laughs> what have you been doing? We all know you haven't been working. I've been in Melbourne partying like a fucking piece of junk that I am. <laughs> Are you planning on ever actually finishing the one day build? No, don't be fucking silly. I just I just have a whole heap of broken cars and just take photos of them. So as you can see here, the shelf's out of the shed. The big Falcon's got the trailer on and we're gonna tow it away to get fixed. So uh that's happening now and the poor old Cressy is still just doing nothing because Adam's a lazy bum. You pushed it. I moved no, it rolled on its own weight down the hill. <laughs> So Adam here has literally done nothing, pretty much forever, so. <laughs> I've done nothing forever. He's literally got no more done and uh, it's pretty sad to be honest, it's very sad. Hey, no, pull the fucking thing off. I've done some stuff that you haven't filmed yet. Well, oh, have you? Yeah. There's some things that go around and stuff that does anything. Well. Oh-ho! 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 Look at you lying with the camera and shit. Make He's got like some asshole. stuff going on. Oh, oh, what's all this? What's all this? Nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So a fair bit of that is actually going to be in the next 1J Crusader episode. It's just that I've been filming it for like a good uh, three months, sporadically. Every time I come here I film a little bit of it, but I only get about 40 seconds of footage because Adam does SFA. So that is coming. That episode will hopefully be out like within the next six months. Within the next six months? Yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> stay tuned for that. But uh, I just thought we'd uh, film Adam actually go on and get this shelf fixed so that it's going to be a running shelf again. Running shelf, retune shelf, do much more spoolie boy shelf. I only just pulled it out of the garage when you rolled in. Like, I just stood so back. So I'm going to wait for you to wash your car. Yeah. <laughs> so that I can go drink beer. You can drink beer here if you want. I didn't bring any beer though. There's beer in the fridge. Aww. Aww. Aww, I'm going to have to come here more often. <laughs> Heavy duty wash. Because it's filthy. You know, I wash this before I put it in there, and then like the layer of dirt and dog shit on it is fucking unbelievable. Stop putting dog shit on it then. Oh, well, I can't help it. My dog's a fucking sock. Never in my life have I seen someone take so long to polish a turd. <laughs> it's a process. The shit. Don't speak about my vehicle like that. It has feelings, it'll break again. Alright. Oh, it's very fragile. Yes, it fucking is. Okay, so that was just about the most painfully long and annoying experience ever. Fucking Adam is uh, no one, nothing gets done in his Crusader. Takes him about four years to do anything. But anyway, so the S14 is going to get fixed. We're going to tow it down tomorrow. To, uh, I can't remember what shop it is, Adam's got it sorted. Um, some shop down in South Brizzy there. And uh, hopefully they're gonna re-shim it and retune it. And they're actually gonna tune the uh, the um, the IQ3 dash and, and stuff to the new gearbox ratios and the new diff ratios so everything's right. And uh, just give it a freshen up. And hopefully uh, it still makes around that 500 wheel mark. I suppose we'll find out tomorrow and uh, go from there. Just look at this bucket of shit being towed by one of the greatest vehicles ever made. Yeah, boy. Forgot my camera. Hello. Oh, yeah, you gotta fucking. Yeah, no, I can't have that, eh? Can't have that, eh? No good. No good at all. No good. Alright, we ready to roll?
Let's get it. Yeah, the Falcon boy. Oh, you just fucking fluffy steering cover. Why would I get rid of this shit? Fucking sick. Feel that? So comfy. Oh. Oh yeah, fucking wild horse cunt. What do you reckon, mate? Uh, can't even get a coffee without waiting for the city. You've got to get a toasted croissant. It's going to be toast. You've got to get a croissant. You've got to get a croissant. You've got to wait for his croissant. Fucking hell. Fuck me. Just waited like 10 minutes just to get a coffee. Yeah. He wanted a croissant. And then the croissant. Fucking Jesus Christ. Because he got ripped because there's no avocado in his chicken croissant. Cheese. Chicken cheese avocado. I don't see no fucking avocado. Very disgruntled. It's like $8 fucking croissant. It took I, like 50 minutes. Appalled at him. Oh. <laughs> False advertised. <laughs> I've been fooled. <laughs> Alright, overall pretty successful trip. Um, the uh, 14 is now in the hands of Horsepower Solutions in Cleveland. So hopefully they can... Capalaba. Capalaba, sorry. Same sort of area. Um, so hopefully they can really sort that out, find that shim, re-shim it, and uh, get it back up and running for Adam. I'm going to give it a bit of a tickle up, a retune as well. Uh, also went to Elderly and picked up all that stuff. If you just watched the last episode of the Cressy, uh, where I bought that other Cressy, I told you I had like, bonnet and wheels to pick up from the dude that actually owned the Cressida. So I went to Elderly and picked them up. So, and we all, we got back out of the city before 1.30. So pretty good uh, run. Now we're going to have some Mackie D's. So as you can see here, actually ended up getting two bonnets. This one's just got a little bit of a ding there, but apart from that, it's not too bad. Good for drifting. Obviously, another white bonnet, so I've got a couple of bonnets now. And uh, under there is a set of four Grande Meshies, which is gangster, so pretty happy. Oh my god, the blue eyes must Oh my god. Oh well. So I'd also like to just uh, take a moment at the moment to point out how fucking sick this Falcon is. Take a moment at the moment. Take a moment at the moment to point out just at the moment how fucking sick this Falcon is. Like fully towing the S14, just fucking dragging people from the lights and shit. Fucking wicked. So uh, smash like for our Falcon daily workhorse duties because it's fucking. Sounds like you're in the moment, mate. Also got that freezing cold AC though. And this sick camera where I can keep an eye on the fucking load. What how sick is that boy? What more could you really want to be honest? It's fucking sick. Righto guys, made it back safe and sound. I've got uh yeah, the bonnets and some wheels and some other stuff on the on the uh, trailer there, so <laughs> big ups to the Falcon, like I said. But um basically the only other thing I wanted to uh let you guys know is I sort of got an idea for another plan which I sort of wanted to see what you all thought of, I suppose. Uh, basically, the way the Cressy is going and the way my work situation is going at the moment because it's uh, work's been very slow. Um, it's, uh, it's sort of just at the point now where I still like obviously have a fair bit of money to spend to get it done. And it's just it's happening way too slow as far as money goes. Um, obviously, I do have heaps of time to get it done, which is fine. But I just don't have the money to keep buying, buying the crap I need. And there's still a few very expensive things I need to buy for it like being like clutch and flywheel and uh, coilovers and that sort of thing. But I'm meant to have a, uh, a shutdown coming up in uh, March, which is going to be basically a big influx of cash, um, which is going to be good. So I was actually thinking using that cash to, instead of throwing it at the Cressy and still it not getting done, basically, I'm still at this rate, it's going to be like the end of the year and I just don't know if I can wait that long. It's annoying me. So... I'm thinking about actually using that money to buy. I'm thinking about buying like a two-wheel drive 3RZ Hilux. I've always had a soft spot for 3RZs. I reckon they're a massively underrated motor. Um, so I really do like them. Now, obviously buying low lux would serve two purposes. Um, firstly, I would have another daily, which means that I could actually start looking at possibly turboing the Falcon. Um, again, turboing the Falcon is not going to cost me much more money. I've already got most of the parts I need. I just, I don't have something else to drive while I do it, so I can't turbo it yet. So if I had another daily, I would be able to look at um, turbo on the Falcon, which obviously would be some good content there as well. Um, the other thing is, obviously, I plan on just locking the diff in the Hilux and uh, putting a hydro in it or sorting out a handbrake and um, having something I can actually go and drive. Um, 
obviously three our Zs are a talky little motor. They go they go pretty well. I've had a few mates that have had them before. I really like them. So things like Archer Field, small tracks, going to um, skid control and stuff with Liam and, and Adam when they get their cars finished or whatever. When Adam get, finally gets his crazy done, which who knows when that'll be. But um, So that's what I'm thinking. Just wanted to see what you guys thought because uh, like I'd, I could... It would be a good heap of money to throw at the Cressy and really make some progress, but it wouldn't get it finished, and I still wouldn't know quite when I'd be able to get it finished as far as just funds go. Um, obviously, everything like things happen, as you all know. I don't really make a heap of money because of my uh, situation with my arm and stuff, so it's really awesome that I got on the shutdown. But, yeah, I'm thinking about using that money to buy another, another car that I can skid. Obviously, with a Hilux, if it's aspirated, it's simple. I can chuck me uh, wheels and, and jack and stuff in, in the back and, and go to places like Archie and, uh, you know, shred a set of tyres and then change them over and come home. It's just uh, basically fast-tracking driving, which I really miss. I really want to get back to driving. And uh, obviously, I reckon it'll be good content for the channel to get back to some driving as well because it's going to get pretty stale if all it is is um, just build content forever. <laughs> really need to get back to driving, so... Obviously, eventually, after the Cressy's done and that, I might look at um, doing a bit of work to the Hilux. I would really like to turbo a 3LZ. Like I said, I really, I'm a big fan of 3LZ, so I'd love to turbo it one day. And I would, I would like to actually... Um, I've got that Sylvia that I parted out, so I've got a Sylvia shell there that's pretty wrecked. So I was even thinking I could cut the, the coil towers out of it and maybe even look at eventually converting the Hilux to take a like a McPherson Strut S13 front end and an S13 coilover. Just make it into a pretty sick little drift hilux as well and um yeah so let me know what you think about that in the comments i'm gonna sign off the video here um we'll be back hopefully fairly soon with adam's crusader there will be an episode coming like i said when we were at adam's yesterday that uh there is an episode coming i've, I've half filmed a fair bit of it but it's uh it's yeah it needs more content i just keep going there and uh filming a little bit so i've got a little bit a little bit a little bit so it's just not enough to put out an episode yet but that'll be coming and, um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys as always, peace out and, uh, I'll see you in a few days.